Yo, what's up, Kelly? Uh, you absolutely should play this. This is one of those, again, like therapeutic games where it's just a very just slow build. Uh, the game does eventually get pretty difficult. Um, but the key is really to like identify all the presents before you use them. Utilize all the tricks and stuff. How does, uh, how does it sound? How does it look? I think I have to set the, um, maybe the horizontal lines. I, I, I see, like, it looks like a little bit gets cut off here and there. Is it too loud? Back here, we got the 
the screw cable coming out. And that runs right out to this bad boy right here. Fortunately, the Genesis just runs RGB natively right out of the, uh, the back of the system with proper cable. So back in the day, anybody in Europe with SCART enabled televisions, they could just play a nice high quality Genesis. But I was really anxious to get some Toe Jam and Earl on. I knew that was one of the first games I really wanted to stream. So catchy in this, it's all funk. Nice, yeah. I have mm, some of those. I got like 120 Genesis now. I think I got Thunder Force. Is there a Thunder Force 2 for. Is it also for Genesis or for another system? It might actually be for 32X. No, maybe it's not. But I got them back to back. From, I think I got them from different people. What's. Is this going to be a. I guess I don't have mine. Oh, I might actually be. Might actually be alive. Alright, right there. Come on. I can never tell if that. Is that a gerbil in there or is it like a dog? I guess it's a giant gerbil. Yeah, I never had a Genesis uh, when I was a kid. Uh, my friends had Genesis. I think I have too many presents right now. had Genesis. Every single one of my friends that I played old school uh, games with, everybody had Genesis and very few people I knew had Super Nintendo, even though I, I'm pretty certain Super Nintendo way outsold Genesis. Um, but it might have actually been maybe the younger generation that bought most of it, like everybody like a couple years younger and beyond. Since there's like probably what, two years between Genesis and Super Nintendo? In those half generation system gaps. Nope, another promotion. Music is so good in this. I always wanted, and it sounds kind of dated, but I always wanted Red Hot Chili Peppers to cover the entire soundtrack to this game. Because that's like my only reference for funk music. I mean, you would listen to like music other than the game, like you, you turn the ga the game sound off, or you remember the soundtrack of the game? Huh. Uh, yeah, I, I really liked them when I was a teenager, and then probably around college age, I started getting away from their newer stuff. The California Cation wasn't too bad for for my taste. At least. I always thought this, I guess this stuff is supposed to be quick, Sam, but I always called it cheese. It looks like nacho cheese. So we called it the quick cheese. Because you sink as you, if you like go through it. Is there a shit piece on here? 
There has not been a shit piece in like five levels, four levels. Yeah, it is very similar. Um, I spent probably like three summers between like 94 and 97, I'll say, playing this uh, pretty much every day I possibly could uh, with one of my best friends who had Genesis. I just always thought it looked so great because it, it has more of like a Sega Master System color palette. So they really utilize the colors well, even though there's not a lot of them. You can still see like the like the art design in this game is just fantastic. I've probably beaten this game a couple times, but it can take a while. Depends on which which map layout you pick. I like to pick the random one. Uh, I think the most it ever took me was 22 levels. I don't even know. There might be a limit to the number of levels that are in the game. But eventually, like, ice cream trucks start, like, teleporting onto the screen and running you over. And a guy, like, with a lawnmower who's, who's like, faster than you. I'm going to hunt around for some money before I go to Yeah, E.T.'s not a bad game. It's it's just gets it's just terrible looking because it's Atari, and it's probably very frustrating if you don't know what you're doing. As is anything, but I have E.T. I should I should might as well R RGB one of my Ataris. Get some E.T. going. I'd love to learn that game, but I, I've watched it. It's definitely interesting, and it's different every time. This is different every time too. The 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 presence and everything are different. Every time you play, I should say where they're located and where the and where the ship pieces. But I think the fixed game is is like a standard. Uh, why would you ever do that though? Why would you ever play like the fixed game? You know, it's funny, I'm playing on one of the six buttons, and it's a lot better than the original Genesis one. Oops, that's the first time I've gotten hit by an enemy. Uh, and I had to be in a containment hold by the hula dancer. Um, yeah, I think I have two different six buttons. I'm using the, the regular Genesis six button. Oh, the mole steals your presence, and that thing is annoying. Oh, there's money. Go with the pipes. Money. So I have a lot of patience, so I'll just like stroll around with like the regular walk. But once this asshole comes around, then you gotta like get out of there. Oh, boogeyman, another asshole. He's pretty quick too. Oh, see, there goes one right there. Cupid, Cupid changes your uh, your directional inputs. It's kind of like Jason in uh, MKX. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty well known. There's actually a bunch of systems that are all swappable. Um, I think Master System uses the same. It's like a simple DB9 or something like that. Yeah, this game, if this game had a time limit, oh, it would be really frustrating. Um, but yeah, the, um... 
yeah, sorry. Uh, using the six button controller on an Atari must be fa uh, fascinating. Oh shit, I forgot. I picked this up today. My coworker. Oh, I'm gonna turn this on. My coworker is absolutely amazing because he's been collecting stuff for years, but without the purpose of like collecting it for the joy. He just wanted to buy stuff to eventually sell. And I'm talking, he's had stuff for like close to 20 years just sitting in his closet. So he moved recently and he's been dumping almost everything he possibly has. Like every couple days, he's like, oh, found another game, found another game. He found this beauty right here, which is closed in the box. Sorry, I just kind of like slurred there a little bit. But this is, I think it's the same design as the Super Advantage, but I was messing around with it. It's still in the plastic in it. The stick on this is one of the best console arcade sticks I've ever used. And it, like I said, it's very simple to the, similar to the Super Advantage, but it's not as sticky. You had this one, okay, so you know, this is very good. Um, there's another Genesis 6 button that I used to see in the stores uh, when I was a kid, and I wanted it so bad because I always needed an arcade stick for every system that I had. Like, I had the Nintendo Advantage, the Super Nintendo Advantage, PlayStation arcade stick, on and on. <clears throat> and I never got a Genesis one because I didn't have a Genesis. But I wanted to get one just to bring it over to my friend's house because he had the three-button Genesis arcade stick, and I hated it because we played fighting games, and you know what the limitations were on Genesis three-button. So... What is that? Firebrand? What is that one? Um, one of my other coworkers, I, I'm guessing it was some kind of a, like a mail-in. Oh, uh, okay. That's the, um, what's it called? The Capcom uh, um, Ghouls and Ghosts fighting game. Uh, I forgot. Um, but yeah, the... Um, so anyway, yeah, my, one of my other co-workers has a Super Nintendo double arcade stick by HAP. It's like from 1992 or 93, made for Street Fighter. It's exactly the Street Fighter layout, the same red, white, and blue color scheme. Uh, I've posted a picture of it before on Twitter if you want to hunt through the pictures. I'm pretty sure it's still be on there. But this thing is, like, fantastically made. It's literally like two... Um, Moss, sorry, I said hap, Moss Hapstick. I looked it up. I cannot find another one in existence. I can find individual Moss sticks made at the same time, to the same look. It's like, a, it's almost like you cut it in half and then finished it to look like the, the double. But I'm sure they must have made both. Um, but I was blown away by it because I couldn't find it anywhere. So I, I would say it probably puts the value of it at a, probably around $500. But it's real arcade parts, 25 plus years old. Fantastic. He also had a couple other sticks. Um, he had like a, it was like a plastic casing, almost like a lunchbox type casing where this, I know this small company back in the 90s made arcade sticks for Super Nintendo and Genesis. So they made the same mold and they just swapped out the, um, what's it called? It's, uh, the, uh, I guess the the wiring, um, but he has one of those I think for for Super Nintendo and another stick for Genesis. Really weird stuff that you find when people just happen to come across over their their uh, gaming collections. But um, and then I have some other Capcom Pro stick for Super Nintendo. It's got a, a a swappable port on the back that you can use it for Super Nintendo and Nintendo, which is pretty nice. And we used that at Yesterkates a couple of years ago for an event. I think it might actually, actually might have been a birthday party. Anyway. Back to Zodiac Mineral. And I got the Hula Dancer again. I'll have some ha bacon and eggs. Not bad. And I'll take a Sunday. Yeah, the SNES NES Capcom stick. I do have a brown box that it seems like it's the original box. Um, but I got that from. Uh, one of our old Long Island guys, he donated it as part of the giveaway for when we got all the PS4s for the the Hellraiser stream. And it was, I think it was 995 fills at first. Um, but the guy who won it didn't want me to ship it to him. He said he would just meet up with me. So like, and that was years ago now. So if he wants it, he can still have it.
Fire Stick. Okay, so what was Firebrand? Didn't Firebrand have its own game? From, oh, of course, they put the moldy bread right outside the elevator door. Oh, jeez. Mad <sighs> scientist or dentist or something like that. cheese tornadoes start coming and they capture you and they like spin you off the edge of the map. Ah, I wish I had some slingshot or something. I should start using some presents. This is about the point in the game where you really start to have to take some chances on what there's uh, sometimes the gifts will mess up your game. Still no ship piece? Holy shit. So I can probably get like five stages in a row of ship pieces. Another Santa. How absurd is that? Yeah, I got the NES Advantage probably late late eighties. Probably, well, I think I got a Nintendo in like eighty seven, so I must have got it like eighty eight. And yeah, I immediately just started playing all my games on it and abandoned the controller. Uh, I think I still played Ninja Turtles. I'm pretty sure I still played Ninja Turtles on the gamepad, but like Mario and anything else, baseball games, anything, always use the stick. The advantage wasn't too bad. The buttons kind of got stuck sometimes, but I mean, what do you expect? It's probably like $30 or something. And the bees. The bees and the cheese. Alright, oh, of course, we need other opposite side here. But yeah, cu uh, a couple of my friends, they, oh my god, we all love this game. We'd have to, like, trade off playing it. We would just spend hours drinking iced tea and eating nachos and swimming through the cheese on these stages here. I was so good at, like, building up money to identify the presents. I'd have, like, $30. Which is a lot in this game. Pizza over there. I've never played Panic on Funkatron. I was so disappointed that it was a, a side scroller. I guess it was kind of how people went from going from Legend of Zelda to um, Adventure of Link. You can sneak it across. Yeah, look at that first shot. I'll take the pizza. Let's walk around a little more. Of course, the tornado's probably going to show up and take me away. Oh no, I'm a scientist or whatever. I can't tell what what is he? Is he a dentist with like a dentist drill? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I think he's based on like Little Shop of Horrors or something. Thank you. 
Um, I've been told by players that they like Panagon Funkatron more, but I, I think that's only players who just didn't like the slow overhead monotony of this game, and I, I absolutely love it. Uh, phone disappeared, fake phone. Hula Dancer. Yeah, I think, I think like hunting for combos was probably like my favorite thing to do with fighting games. And then when the internet blew up with videos of people making combo videos, oh my god, the chicken, the chicken cannon. I love the sound that the chickens make. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, ship piece. What do we got? Tornado. Ah. Oh my god. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Wrath of Pharaoh. He's gonna drop me right off the fucking edge. Look at that. Son of a bitch. that that was a PC game uh, yeah, yeah that's right I knew people who loved that game but I never got into it oh shit of course I'm at high tops what we got here I don't know what any of this shit is I'll give it a shot. Hold on, another tornado right as soon as I get out of the door. Alright, so I, oh, son of a bitch. Let's see. Oh my god. Oh my god, direct hits. Helpful. See if I can get down there with the high tops, I can jump from the edge of that one piece to the next one. I might not have to though. What 
what kind of game is it? Goddamn B stage. So was the only high tops? I don't even remember what present that was. Nice, thanks. Um. Yeah. Okay. Did it say there's a ship piece here? Yes, there is. You know what else was freaking awesome about this game was that it was split screen, so you could be playing on two different maps at the same time. And what was kind of confusing was that I always thought that when you went on the elevator in between the levels that it was loading the other level. But apparently you can load two at the same time. Oh, nice. Fat bitch. She kills all the enemies, that's right. And there were no enemies to kill. Money. like nothing going on at this level. Yeah, megawatt speaker. The bees are so random. Oh, finally some food. I like how all the food is like named too. It's not like just like generic like yeah, you I ate I ate food. It's an actual like oh French fries. Shit. Fucking bees. I like how almost every stage has like a prevalent en enemy. So like this stage of course is like just gonna be like a ton of bees and then like one stage will just be like milk uh ice cream trucks just all over the place. I think I got three. Yeah, I got the, the visor, whatever that thing is up there. I got the speaker, and I got one of the stabilizers in the back. Oh, there's an asshole with a lawnmower. It's like characters from like different parts of the universe were just like taken out of their everyday activity and just thrown on these like planet chunks. So you got a woman like shopping with a stro uh, with a it's not like a stroller, it's like a shopping cart with a crying kid in it. Definitely a lot of drugs involved in making this game. Ugh, what did I eat? Fish bones. Let's go. I'm just looking for money. I don't know, but just like money. Like, just like laying around with like creatures and random beings.
Thanks. Is there anybody watching? Yeah, that is kind of surprising. Let's see, shit piece here. No shit piece. So you got like a choice here. Like, do you get stung by the bees or do you jump in the water and get eaten by a shark? And, whoa, cool tornado, too. You know, I love that. Son of a fucking bitch. Something. Oh god. Just what I didn't want. Oh my god. So now I'm gonna get struck by lightning for like 20 seconds. And I got bees and a friggin' tornado chasing me. Money. Oh. I don't wanna eat that. I think that's. Yep. Up. Oh my god. Yeah, this guy will replenish my life. Come on, dude. For a dollar. Ooh, I, I think it gave me, like, extra. Alright, so the rain cloud... I don't want the rain cloud. I got multiple rain clouds. Let's... So I remember the rain cloud has the three dots on the top. Blue the three dots. So I'm pretty sure that it has set stages, but I'm not sure how many stages there are because I've always managed to beat it within like 20 something. But it definitely, I've beaten it, like, in the teens, and I've beaten it in, like, the mid... Eh, probably, like, low 20s. So, there could be, like, 30 stages or something. But the stages are, like, so massive. Um, because they're, they're all so similar, but yet, like, all of a sudden you'll be on a stage that's totally different, but then it's similar to a bunch of other stages. So it's hard to keep track, even after all these years. But then again, I really haven't played this game in a long time, so. I ID'd that. I got some I got a few lives, so let's let's get rid of that. Alright, so I only had the one. But I don't remember what it was. The game does teach you some val valuable life lessons. Don't just open up any gift that you get, because it may kill you. So if you get some money and you see a guy walking around in a carrot suit, go up to him and he'll open it for you. Tornadoes have like a pattern. Mm -hmm. 
Son of a bitch. I don't think there's any way you can control him. It's just gonna randomly drop me somewhere. Are you serious? He's gonna drop me off right here. Are you serious? <sighs> Alright, so now what I got? I gotta go through my... Uh... Jade, Jackie, Codal, and Frost. I don't mind Codal, but like, why Codal Con? I know a lot of people wanted Frost. So, in order to get back to the mainland, I either need bonus high tops, or Icarus wings, or the skates. So, fortunately, I think most of the worst gifts I've already got. The only other really bad one is the rose bush. But that's only if you touch it yourself. Tomato rain is another bad one. Oh, so it's time travel, huh? Alright, let's try this one. Oh, boombox. Don't remember what the boombox does. And I only had one of them. Alright, what's this guy? Inner tube, this helps you swim. Doesn't help me get back to mainland. Teleport door? Whoa. Can I get on there? Whoa. Yes! Beautiful! Another fucking tornado. Ooh, I ran right through him. I hate that name, Kronika. Ugh. Uh, since Raid interfered and killed Shinnok, she came out of hiding. Oh boy. And especially like with the H in there, like the extra H. This is unnecessary. So that's what they're going for here. That's why we see, we see like the multiple scorpions, more I'm totally like out of the loop. I've only seen like a handful of gameplay videos. Are you serious? The un... See, wasn't there an unburnt cabal in another one? Wasn't he with in Strike... God damn it. It's part of Striker's storyline, right? Alright. Oh, God. If he, if he drops... Oh, the water doesn't look like it's too bad. Oh, my God. Son of a bitch. Let me go. Thank you. They like fully rendered him, right? Like you could technically hack the game probably and access that. Although it might not be like the character. He 
doesn't have air gas blast. Interesting. All right, fucking mole. All right, so inner tubes, doorways. That's all I know right now. Moles uh, everywhere. Pizza. Oh no. No, you son of a bitch. God damn you. you took an inner tube. That's all. Let me go. Yes, the, um, you can see the, I, I remember the tall blue one with the yellow or orange, um, it was an inner tube, and that was the gift that came out of me, and it's gone, so it's consistent, um, but yeah, you, once you use a gift, uh, it stays that gift, unless you get the randomizer, the randomizer randomizes all presents on the spot, and it sucks. Get the oh no, I don't think I want either one of those. I think they're both useless gifts. So I'm pretty sure I don't remember if the question mark is always the randomizer, because I'm pretty sure you can get the randomizer hidden, because I know I've gotten it by accident a bunch of times. Friggin' mole. Presents are always different every time you play. Uh, unless th there may be like a bunch of different presets, but it's enough that I've never noticed if it's fully random or not. I guess I'm just gonna end the stage. Yeah, game's just so much fun. But I think it, it, it's probably more fun when you've played it like as a kid and, and really absorbed it. So I think this game out when I was like 12. Take a little break. I'm gonna download that real quick. Another ship piece. All right, I'll be right back.
All right, I'm back. Uh, that should have, yeah, that should be done. I downloaded the whole, the whole folder. <clears throat> Nothing really good. Coca-Cola. Late at night. Heat me up. Ah, ASMR. Get a little ASMR in here. Probably figure it out. If not, I can ask Dreamer for help on it too. I gotta remember to cover my game screen on the capture because I'm so tempted to look at it and I'm like, oh wait, that's the latest shit. Nerd herd, there it is. That's uh, that's what I call Mike Metroid's stream when he gets all his buddies over and they view the land. And that is a nerd herd right there. I'm gonna have to cap that. Can you clip that for me, Conqueror? <laughs> Money. Persistent chip piece and moles. Oh my god. I need high tops. Um, I believe on the video there should be like where the option is for like the video f video quality. There should be a little like a take thing. There you go. Oh, oh cool. And the tomato chickens. Oh my god. <laughs> Told you the game starts getting difficult out of nowhere. I think they can hit each other though. I gotta get them in a tomato war. More money. money. Oh my god. I'm very stubborn about the gift usage, but I should. Alright, there's the door down there. I gotta get out this guy, but they have level. Let's use. You're like out of like the loser ranks and <clears throat> beautiful, thank you. Gotta post that and uh tag Mike Metroid in it. Pick a gift for me to use here, because I got to start experimenting with these a little more. Purple. Uh, the round one here. Fudge Sunday, not bad. All right, that's right. There's all kinds of different foods too. I just 
love the animation. It's like pixel art, but like zoomed in. Oh my god. Now, if I had tomatoes, I could fight back. Alright, let's pick another one here. But it's good to know now, because if I need health, I can just go to the Fudge Sunday. Sometimes there's like a root beer. Cow box. Oh, that's a teleport. An another teleport. There's like... Oh, Jesus. Oh, unfall. That was it. Unfall. So if you drop a level, it actually teleports you back to the level you fell off. Because if you if you fall off the edge here, you'll go down to the previous level. So you have to get back to the elevator. There are just chickens with tomato cannons everywhere. Look at this. I'm getting a firing range. And it makes the awesome Foley sound effect. Oh. <laughs> Game is friggin' awesome. Let's see if I can get these gifts. Two. Nope. Alright, let's see. Unfall. Let's go clutch someday. Get some life back. I wonder if I got like really OCD if I dropped the presents in a certain order and then picked them back up so I could like put them all where I want them. Try that. I don't think I've ever tried that. This game. I gotta get away from these assholes. Oh, What's awesome is it has a, a like legit arc to it, so it's not like just if it crosses your path, it actually will, will go over you because the game has the game is actually like true 3D in that sense. Oh my god, they're freaking everywhere! Snowboard. Uh, I'm gonna try, but I gotta get away from these freaking things. All right, let's pick another one here. I'm not gonna pick the question mark because I'm, I'm gonna assume that's a randomizer. Oh, absolutely, it's it's definitely 2D, but uh, but the game itself has like a 3D feel to it because you can move in eight directions, number one, and it has a an up and down, not just a, a like the map. So like if you if you get the Icarus wings, you can land on your enemies and and pop them. Alright, let me try this one. Oh, fucking ass. That was the randomizer. And you don't know what the randomizer is now, again, unless you identify it. So, like, it won't, it won't like, tell me that the one I just used was the randomizer. Now, with the randomizer, is another random present. So you actually have, like, a random item for a specific present every time you play, and I'm pretty sure the layout is random every single time, too. They may be in the same spots. Like, I don't think the presents are in random locations, but I'm pretty sure the presents are random. It's pretty nuts. So you think the question mark is probably now the old pink box? Wait, do I have it in the list now? There's probably a website that explains it. I've never read anything about this game. I've only just played it. Yes, that is true. You're right about that. I had two inner tubes before, I think.
because the the inner tube was this one, the, the blue and orange. So you think if this is the inner tube, then maybe maybe we crack the the code here. Nope, it's a book, and now I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> now I gotta do like Street Fighter style, like mashing out of. They're gonna kill me. Mashing out of like a uh, throw. Son of a fuck. <laughs> so that was definitely random, random. All right, fuck it, and awesome. <laughs> this game is such fucking ass. Love it. Uh, all right, let me try this someday. A lot of food here, so that's good. At least I can take some hits. But I need like a slingshot or like a tomato thing. You can like you can manually lob tomatoes, or you can get the slingshot and you have like more distance. And the mold definitely follows you legit. But his pattern is kind of odd sometimes. He has like a delay like in, in when you change directions, I think. Oh, piece of shit. Sometimes he takes more. Alright, what do we got here? Fuck it. Root beer. <laughs> yeah, lightning cloud sucks. And then there's the tomato rain. Dude, this is absurd. I, I've never seen three three packs of them. There's a freaking chicken army here. Yeah, it's probably better to, to if you're gonna experiment with them, experiment early. But like, I haven't seen the carrot guy around, and I'm pretty sure the carrot guy is like on like every other level, so you can identify. And I also haven't found a whole lot of money because I only have four dollars. I wonder if it's different in two-player. I wonder if they change it a little bit. See, now I got a slingshot, and I'm dead. Fucking bees. Look at this. You can kill them, but I don't know why it's taking so many hits. Is it not telling me what the gifts are now? Because I could have swore. I don't want that bread. The bread will kill me. Seriously? That really took like 10 hits. I might have been missing them before or something. But at least I cleared a couple of them. Yeah, I would love to see... I know they, like, re made, like, another one for Dreamcast or Xbox or something. Uh, with, like, a chick character. Yeah, there's other stuff, too, in it. Um... 
but like the thing is like you could like first thing you could like identify is the, the total bummer which just kills you and then you only have two lives I wonder if they oh they can hit her let's see if they can kill her come on She's just taking them. Come on. Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> this game is amazing. Ah. Oh my god, give me the hamburger. No. Oh, I don't need the cake yet. Oh, fuck is this? Is there, on here? there are no pieces here. I still have five left. Jesus Christ. I gotta get an extra life somehow. Now this thing might be alive. No. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. Ah! Slingshot. See, another thing is like these are like the slingshot will kill like the early enemies. Oh, I loved Food Fight. That was awesome. A friend of mine had an Atari and he played Food Fight a lot. What's that? No, no, in the beginning, like, like the devil characters that, like, are, like, slower than you, uh, they only, like, poke you. But they only take like maybe two tomatoes. So the characters, the enemies do get more powerful as you go. But the slingshot's better than just like the regular tomatoes. I get the cake. Oh, see, look at that. Just... Oh my god. I just did 60% damage there. Oh, money. Damn it. Alright. Let's do something else. Total bummer. Fucking dead. This game... <laughs> it fucking means business. Alright, just give me a second here to mess with the video settings. So I'm going to look up the Genesis settings, because there's a guy, uh, coincidentally, who goes by Firebrand, who has a bunch of settings listed. I was pretty sure that the default settings on here were pretty good. So let's check out the timings. Oh, 
of course, like looking this up, I just found a better page than what I used the first time I tried to set up Nintendo. I'll have to give Nintendo another shot. So it says, <clears throat> so the age sample rate four twenty seven. sampling so this says to use 342 or 427 I wonder if it's different Look, no, that's terrible. Back to three forty two. Some of this stuff I don't know what it means exactly. No, it doesn't look great either. I think three forty two is a good. But you can see, like, around the trim of the video here. Let me try this real quick. You can see, like, on some of the letters, stuff just gets cut off. But I don't know if that's just the game. Maybe, yeah. 